Instead of me just telling you what artificial intelligence is, how about I show you AI in action? If you use Gmail, you're using artificial intelligence or features powered by artificial intelligence. As you can see on screen, I'm currently writing an email and note how I've typed what they would, I haven't even finished a word and already Gmail is suggesting that I finish that sentence with would work for you. Now I can accept this suggestion by just clicking on the tab button. Now that is smart compose, which is powered by artificial intelligence. And what it does is it suggests text that suits that email that I most likely want to type out. Now, the core question is, how do they make this work? In order for artificial intelligence to work, it needs to be trained first. Think of your favorite sports team. Now, in my case, I'm a huge fan of football. That is European football. So if you're from North America, please think about soccer when I say football. Now, a football team spends most of its time on the training grounds because this team needs to understand how do they want to play together. They need to train certain movements, certain strategies, certain patterns. And this enables, for example, a striker to know or predict more or less where the ball is going to land when the winger sends a cross into the box. So, through training, they are able to predict patterns or movements and what's going to happen next to be able to act upon that. Well, that is how artificial intelligence works. It is given a lot of data and it recognizes patterns and it understands to see signs in situations or data it is given to be able to make predictions that are as close as possible to what actually will be happening. So let's go back to Smart Compose that we saw in Gmail. Being given a lot of data on how people actually write emails enables Gmail to predict what this person probably wants to write next. Or think about Netflix. How does Netflix know which shows I like and I will be probably wanting to watch next? Well, again, it's trained with my data with what I have been watching and can predict what I want to watch in the future. Speech recognition enables voice assistants like Siri and Alexa to understand what we are telling them and act upon that. Again, they understand because they've been trained with data. Or Email providers, very often they will use AI to detect spam and make sure that it doesn't reach your inbox. The goal of AI is for computers and software to solve problems just like a human would, but to do so much faster and more reliably. Now, you've already heard that artificial intelligence is in lots of the products we're using nowadays. But as computational power becomes cheaper and there's also advancements in artificial intelligence, we're seeing creators, big software companies, but also small startups putting artificial intelligence into more and more products that we're using and really pushing the boundaries of what's possible. So in my opinion, artificial intelligence is very interesting. Obviously, it also comes with some caveats and some things that we need to be aware of, but in general, it's a very, very interesting time for artificial intelligence. If you've learned something new in this video, how about you leave us a like? And is there anything else when it comes to technology that you would like me to explain in simple words and illustrations? Then let me know in the comment section below. And hey, how about you subscribe to this YouTube channel?